Hello YouTubers, this is Sesta Ace back again with another video cassette ads video. Once again concentrating on the VHS format and the VHS tapes donated to us by a sister-in-law. I'm going to show these in alphanumerical order. I'll show the one that uh, starts with a number first before I get to the ones that start with a letter. If that makes sense. Okay, this first one is a sequel to a live-action remake to a classic Disney animated film. This is 102 Dalmatians. Now, I'm not a miracle worker, but these were a mess. They were covered with stickers, front and back, and on the spine. And dirty and quite a bit of damage on some of the cases. The cases that would not close, I tossed. But the tape still played fine for VHS. So I held on to the tapes and I had the foresight to hold on to the artwork and I'm looking into replacing the cases I think. Bags Unlimited sells replacement VHS cases in this size. If so, I'm also going to be replacing these cases. I also spent quite a bit of time cleaning up the cassette shells themselves. So that a lot of them are quite dirty. Walt Disney Home Video Release 21639. Okay, we already have this on VHS. In fact, we have this exact same release. And this is actually one of the better ones that we got from her, my sister-in-law. Saw this one in the theater when it came out. I obviously was an adult by then. Beauty and the Beast. Reminds me of that scene in Star Trek The Motion Picture. And they spend forever going around and around the Enterprise. While it's in space dock. I have been asked before, do I plan what I'm going to say ahead of time? No. Which is evident by my babbling. It was all loose on that one. I know I've shown this trick before, but whenever I get any VHS tapes in, the first thing I do is rewind them. If I'm out at the flea market and I'm looking at one to buy, I check the tape too. Frequently they're not rewound, so I'm looking at a part of the tape where whoever was watching it last stopped. So that's a place that's most likely to have damage. Uh, I know I've shown this before, I'll show it again, because I have new subscribers. Let's see that button between the tape guard and the rest of the shell. First of all, without pushing the button, I let's lift up on one corner. If it flops open, you have a spring that's either missing or broken. So don't even bother. Unless you're into repairing cassette shells. Anyway, you, you push that button in. While you're holding it in, you lift up on the corner. Be careful not to uh, grab hold of any of the tape. And let go of the button. What I look for is water damage, of which there isn't any, creases, of which there aren't any, and tape edge damage, which can result from stacking tapes. There isn't any evidence.
Okay, I'm not really familiar with this series. It stars me as as does. D2, the Mighty Ducks. Some crushed case there. Like I said, these had stickers that covered part of the title and covered the catalog number and everything else, and drives me crazy. My sister in law apparently had bought these used from a rental store. Practice I tried to avoid. I got burned a couple times. Okay, this is Walt Disney Home Video Release 2553. I always give out the catalog number because uh, many titles are re-released and um, when they are they're generally given a different catalog number so you know which release I'm showing you. If that makes any sense. Emilio Estevez D3, the Mighty Ducks. Still has its Walt Disney sticker. But a lot of damage there. A lot there. And a lot there. I came close to tossing this one, but it would close. So I didn't. But I will replace the case if I have that opportunity. Okay. The Emperor's New Groove. THX certified. Which I guess since Disney bought all of the George Lucas companies, Disney's in charge of the THX certification program? Probably. Will they cut themselves slack? That's the question. Too bad, all things considered. I'm pulling from three different stacks, so I'm trying to stay in alphabetical order, so bear with me. This does not look like it's in its original case, because the artwork doesn't fit properly. The artwork was just covered with stickers all over the front, the back and the spine, which drove me crazy, especially since I need to be able to see the catalog reference number when I do my card indexing system for each video. Those of you who have been watching my videos for any length of time know I create a 3x5 index card for every video in my collection with pertinent information about the release on the front, and then I write down in a section of the front sometimes, and then on the back the date every time I watch that video. And somebody, I can't remember who it was, but it was pretty funny actually. They did a parody of me doing that. Uh, except in the video they did, I was collecting socks. I collect a lot of things, but I don't collect socks. Anyway, this stars Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I have a different sister-in-law who was just in love with him when she was 11. Now, feeling my age, uh, she has a child who has reached that age. I'll be home for Christmas. This one, like I said, was just covered with stickers. Hopefully you can't tell where they were. I'll push all the way in. 
just be thankful that's not Justin Bieber. Let's see all this extra space up here. I need to give this one another cleaning. It's otherwise in pr pretty fair condition. Like I said, there was a big sticker. It ran from about here to here, and it covered another sticker, and there was another sticker on top of it, and that was a real trial getting all that off. But I did it. I did it my way, and I'm not going to break into song. That's Frank Sinatra's song. I'm not going to touch it. Walt Disney Home Video Release 15801. Okay, this is based on a television series. It was animated. This is live action. And the animated series, uh, the voice of the main character was provided by Don Adams, who also starred in the original television series Get Smart. And I always thought of this series, the animated series, has been kind of a take on Get Smart. Anyway, Inspector Gadget. Um, I think, I see, when I start a sentence that way, be careful because I'm probably wrong. But I think there was a direct-to-video sequel for this one. I'm sure somebody either knows already or will check IMVD and say, well, no, there wasn't, or yes, there was. I don't know why everything's upside down or backwards with this one. Walt Disney Home Video Release 15802. I always have to double check because of my dyslexia. This is a good movie, and um, we already have a copy of it on DVD. Anyway, The Iron Giant. Kind of takes me back to my childhood and watching Gigantor, one of the first anime series to hit American television, was Gigantor. At an Astro Boy, maybe tied, but they both were right there at the beginning. As far as uh, I saw that, I can't remember. But for those of you who are familiar with Gigantor, you can see where I'm coming from, can't you? I have two laser discs of Gigantor. Each one has four episodes, two on each side. I also love the uh, theme song. I have one cover done by a um, punk group, believe it or not, and there was a cover version that I heard a long time ago. I think the name of the group was the Incredible Shrinking Dickies. A co-worker of mine when I was working at WTLV TV 12, uh, pointed me in the direction of that. He said, if you like Gigantor, you need to check that out. So they did a, a cover of that. Okay, this is Warner Brothers Family Entertainment Release 17644. This is another one that was just covered with stickers. Michael Keaton. Jack Frost. I'm fairly certain I've seen this on Laserdisc somewhere. If not in my collection, then 
uh, yesterday and today out at the flea market. I really want to get this done. It's getting close to 2 in the morning. But this is the only time I can do this video because the kids get out of school early tomorrow. Tomorrow is early dismissal day. They didn't have early dismissal days when I was in school. I keep telling them that. that and they get a day off here and there for teacher planning day. We didn't have teacher planning days when I was in school. I guess the teachers did their planning on their own time or something. This is uh, Warner Home Video Release 17227. I tell my youngest daughter all this and I have a flashback to a mini a comedy skit like the one that uh, Monty Python did. Now we had to walk home in the snow and it was uphill both ways. Another one that was just covered with stickers. Jungle to Jungle and I missed one. Darn it. But not on the front. Got the one off the spine and off the front. Got those. But I didn't get that one. So we'll concentrate on down here. A lot of damage. See, the earlier Disney cases could stand the abuse that these can't or couldn't. And I don't remember if I've mentioned it or not, but I recently got in 80 Betamax pre records, including 30 Disney, and they're all in the original style cases and they are really sturdy. Plus which, Betamax's tapes were smaller so there's less area to crush. That's my own theory anyway. Some of those are sealed and the other 50 that I got, some of those were sealed and on labels that no longer exist and I'm babbling again and I don't know. I may have already said all this twice before. If I have, then I'm sorry. Don't worry. Larger than life. Now I could tell as soon as I picked this one up that the case is sturdier than a Disney case. Of the latter part of the VHS lifespan. Here's another sticker I missed. But this one, the inside of the sh of the case was a mess, and the cassette shell was a mess. I mostly got it cleaned up. That black stripe, however, I started to try and remove it, but uh, it wasn't going to come peacefully, and um, so I left it alone. The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. Okay, this is one we already had on VHS, but it was an earlier release. We do have it on DVD, a THX certified uh, release. This one is THX certified. As I said, the earlier VHS release that we have of this wasn't. Mary Poppins. 
and I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, if you don't like this movie, there's something wrong with you. Now, Dick Van Dyke's British accent left much to be desired, but there have been plenty of British actors who I've heard mangle American accents. Some have nailed it. Christopher Lee in a movie called Horror Hotel. I think it was originally called City of the Dead or something like Anyway, horror movie from the late 50s or early 60s. He played in America and his American accent, Christopher Lee's, was impeccable. So it could be done. I am a big Christopher Lee fan. Okay, this is part of the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection, Walt Disney Home Video Release 9871. The funniest movie of the year. I don't know about that. Nathan Lane, Lee Evans. Mouse Hunt. Okay, this is DreamWorks release, 83585, and if I didn't already say, it's THX certified. It doesn't say it on the back, and it doesn't say it on the front. Yeah, it does say it on the back, but it doesn't say it on the front, but it does on the spine. Okay, MVP, Most Valuable Primate. From the producers of Airbud, we have the Airbud movies on VHS now because they were part of the donated pile that we got. Pile, boxes and boxes and boxes. But this video is going to tie up the loose ends of those donations. We'll be moving on to VHS tapes I bought at the flea market. I've been buying a lot. The Betamax tapes I bought. I've been buying a lot. As I said, 80. If I haven't already mentioned it, over 40 laser discs, close to 50 DVDs and Blu rays, and you're not going to believe some of those. And even some VHD ads. So, a lot to get to. And if I haven't already mentioned it, yes, I'm going to show my Disney collector pen collection in a future video. And I might even show my wife's uh, D Disney Infinity Disc collection. For those of you familiar with the uh, Infinity Disc game uh, thing, then you know what I'm talking about. But she collects those discs and she has a number of rare ones. Pocahontas. In fact, she managed to get uh, the one and only rare for the third series of Infinity Discs. And the series three hadn't officially been released yet. Apparently the store she went to, it was a GameStop, put them out early. Okay, Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection. 
which is what this new video release 5741. Okay, we already have this on DVD and Blu ray, Scooby Doo and the Witch's Ghost. We have a lot of Scooby Doo on video, but then there's a lot of Scooby Doo on video. See a little crush, crushing damage there. This is Warner Brothers Family Entertainment release H1487. Okay, we already have this exact release on VHS. So we have two copies, and it's actually in decent condition. Space Jam. Although I contend that Money Tunes Back in Action is a better film. Warner Brothers Family Entertainment release 16400. Getting near the end and getting to where I'm out of energy here. This is a THX certified transfer. Tarzan. Walt Disney Home Video Release 15799. Okay, a Disney movie starring Charlie Sheen, Kiefer Sutherland, Chris O'Donnell, Oliver Pratt, Pratt Platt, Tim Curry, and Rebecca DeMornay. The Three Musketeers. That story has been filmed so many times. This isn't even the first time Disney filmed it. Also a Tim Curry fan. He was really good in, uh, of course, Rocky Horror Picture Show. What I was going to say was Clue. The original Clue. The whole cast was good, but he was really good. And I don't know where he got all that energy from. Okay, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Tom and Huck.
only one more to go after this. Focus. Well, Disney Home Video Release 7769. And this one's not too bad, except it needs another cleaning. And it's starting to yellow, but it's pretty good condition. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Devon Sawa, and Scott uh, Bearstow. I hope I pronounced those names correctly. Wild America. You just ask. Uh, presenters of uh, Top Gear UK how wild they think America is being that they were shot at but then they wrote insightful things on the sides of their cars in a part of the country you don't mess around with I've uh, never in my life had a gun pulled on me in wild America or when we lived in Germany or France. Did I show the tape? I don't remember. I did. Okay, Warner Brothers Family Entertainment. Release one five five eight zero. And that is that. Until next time, stay awesome. The Mighty Ducks. Some crushed case there. Like I said, these had stickers that covered part of the title and covered the catalog number and everything else, and it drives me crazy. My sister in law apparently had bought these used from a rental store. Practice I tried to avoid. I got burned a couple times. Okay, this is Walt Disney Home Video Release 2553. I always give out the catalog number because uh, many titles are re-released and um, when they are they're generally given a different catalog number. Reminds me of that scene in Star Trek The Motion Picture they spend forever going around and around the Enterprise while it's in space dock. I have been asked before, do I plan what I'm going to say ahead of time? No. Which is evident by my babbling. Tape was all loose on that one. I know I've shown this trick before, but whenever I get any VHS tapes in, the first thing I do is rewind them. If I'm out at the flea market and I'm looking at one to buy, I check the tape too. Frequently they're not rewound, so I'm looking at a part of the tape where whoever was watching it last stopped. So that's a place that's most likely to have damage. I, I know I've shown this before, I'll show it again as I have new subscribers. Let's see that button between the tape guard and the rest of the shell. First of all, 
without pushing the button, I lift, lift up on one corner. If it flops open, you have a spring that's either missing or broken. So don't even bother unless you're into repairing cassette shells. Anyway, you, you push that button in while you're holding it in, you lift up on the corner, be careful not to uh, grab hold of any of the tape. And let go of the button. What I look for is water damage, of which there isn't any, creases, which there aren't any, and tape edge damage, which can result from stacking tapes. There isn't any evidence. Okay, I'm not really familiar with this series. It stars with me though. Esther is. D2. Hello YouTubers, this is Sesta Ace back again with another video cassette ads video. Once again concentrating on the VHS format and the VHS tapes donated to us by a sister-in-law. I'm going to show these in alphanumerical order. I'll show the one that uh, starts with a number first before I get to the ones that start with a letter. If that makes sense. Okay, this first one is a sequel to a live-action remake to a classic Disney animated film. This is 102 Dalmatians. Now, I'm not a miracle worker, but these were a mess. They were covered with stickers, front and back, and on the spine. And dirty. And quite a bit of damage on some of the cases. The cases that would not close, I tossed. But the tape still played fine for VHS. So, I held on to the tapes, and I had the foresight to hold on to the artwork, and I'm looking into replacing the cases, I think. Bags Unlimited sells replacement VHS cases in this size. If so, I'm also going to be replacing these cases. I also spent quite a bit of time cleaning up the cassette shells themselves. Is that a lot of them are quite dirty. Walt Disney Home Video Release 21639. Okay, we already have this on VHS. In fact, we have this exact same release. And this is actually one of the better ones that we got from her, my sister in law. Saw this one in the theater when it came out. I obviously was an adult by then. Beauty and the Beast. 